So, day in the life. I haven't done one of these in like two years, and a lot of things have changed except my morning routine. It's all the same thing. I pretty much wake up 7, 7.30 in the morning, I brush my teeth, and then I go straight to the office. So, that's where things have changed. So, we'll talk about that when we get there right now. But now, I just brush my teeth. Sometimes I shower, but I usually do the cold plunge, and all of you guys are going to all about that. Pretty much straight from waking up right into the office so I don't do the whole meditating I don't do the whole reading a book in the morning I don't drink coffee I don't light a candle a candle whatever I don't do any of that stuff I don't know I feel like that's all superstitious I am superstitious for some stuff but for me to go trade I just wake up in the morning and I just come straight to trade like this is where I have the most clarity I feel like if I have to do a bunch of stuff in order to prepare myself for trading I'm almost like putting pressure on myself that I have to trade if I just wake up I come here there's nothing I just leave there's no trading opportunity I simply don't take it so I pretty much come here I get on my other phone that I have here pretty much sleeps here all the time where I answer all the discord messages with all the students because we're about to start trading right now because it is about eight in the morning so this is where I trade with all of my students in the morning I'll answer discord messages I'll answer DMs. I'll pretty much just engage with everybody as much as I can and just focus on my trading till about 11 30 11 45 in the morning and then I just honestly after that just take a nap because obviously I trade London as well I'm still doing that from last time so the last time that I did a day in the life I said I hope that I'm not trading London and New York at the same time yeah I'm still kind of doing that right now so we pretty much Usually take a nap today, but for this video, we're gonna stay up. And I also have Eric, which where he's gonna come give me a haircut. We're looking crazy. So right now for the next about three to maybe four hours, I'm just here inside the office. I don't leave at all. I have a mini fridge right there where I have all of my water, which is empty right now because we drank all the water, but I don't leave to eat. I don't do anything. Everything that I need is in here. I have a bathroom over there. So pretty much I'm just focused and centered inside of here and then right around maybe 12 31 is where i actually eat so i do fast every single day and that's been helping me a lot so right now we're just going to trade chill for a little bit and uh catch up with you guys in a little bit. so about like four hours later right i used to have a gaming chair as my office chair and i got this big fat office first the best thing i could ever do i can sit here for hours this thing is comfortable if you have one of those gaming chairs they are not comfortable they start hurting your ass but as you were doing the videos where i realized some of the things from here are like from the other like day in the life so i don't know if you guys know who this guy is but this is the goat every single time i'd win a trade i used to yeah this guy's been through a lot if you notice he doesn't have ears his ears have pretty much been ripped off um, and then this timer right here. This timer is actually very essential because I used to time all of my tasks. So I would have this pretty much right here. And let's say that I was going to answer DMs, for example, or I was gonna to reply to Discord messages. And I'm like, all right, I'm only gonna do that for 15 minutes. So I don't have any other distractions and I put it here and I'd time myself. I don't really use it anymore because I have a very well out routine and I've been doing it for you know two years already so I don't really need it but if you are a beginner person and you want to have something to help you focus on your task time yourself if you're gonna say okay I'm gonna study trading put a little timer this costs ten dollars on Amazon put a timer and be like all right I'm only gonna study for an hour and then you put it right here you're gonna notice within that hour that you're about 15 minutes in and you're gonna have an urge of getting on Instagram or you're gonna have an urge of doing something else and you're gonna notice that your attention span and your the, the way you focus is pretty much slim to none. So by you timing yourself, you notice how much effort and time you actually put into stuff. So right now, it's exactly, oh look, bro, right on, right on time. 11.45, so right now is where I would literally get up from here and take a nap and I'm you know, usually tired, not tired today, I haven't drank anything other than water, but I know Eric is pulling up, so we're gonna get a quick haircut. And then, well, I know we have to go see the boat because we put some new speakers on the boat, and then we have to go eat. And then after eat, I know Jordan, I think he wants to go do something. So for now, we're just chilling until we, after we get the haircut, so let's go get a haircut. So last time you guys saw this video, I had a goat. I used to have a goat, now I have a cat. Hey, saw that? It actually responds. Have you ever seen a cat that, that responds? Yeah, my cat. My cat fucking listens to me. Oh, and I, I wanted to show you guys. This is one of my studios. I have four inside this house. And pretty much, I just decided... Yeah, bro, I just realized I have like eight rooms in this fucking house, bro. So this is one of them. The other ones I can't show you guys because they're like my private rooms. 
where you know I like to. Sounds like I have like a porn room, bro. <laughs> it's something like that. But they're my rooms that I just use for certain. How do I come back from the way I worded that shit? <laughs> no, what I, the point is that this is the famous YouTube studio room. I even fucking put a fireplace in this. Look at this. Yeah, this one over here. There go. That shit was $10,000. And it doesn't even heat up. But it looks nice. So yeah, this is the famous studio. How do I come back from what I said? <laughs> Alright, so we got Eric here. Yo, this is not planned. This guy didn't know we were doing this video? Check it. Was it planned or no? No, it wasn't. It wasn't planned. Right now we got a haircut. This guy always fucks me up. Right. I'm loyal to my people, bro. Thanks so much. So Eric's been cutting my hair for like what bro? Like six, seven years? Yeah, like six, seven years for sure. And things have changed, bro. Huh? Mm -hmm. Things have fucking changed. They got crazy. So this, this guy's been fucking up my hair for six to seven years, bro. No, I'm kidding, he's dead. <laughs> By the way, you guys have seen this is after I streaked the super boy. Like, we just got out of jail like two days ago. So we're like free now. We we're only there for like 15 hours. Um, but I bet on the Super Bowl that what was gonna happen first, either a sack or a touchdown. The first thing you'd imagine is a touchdown, not a fucking sack, so I lost that bet. The second bet was that one team would not score three points in a row, and that shit hit, so I lost that bet. And then my other bet was that each team would score a point in each half. So meaning each team would score a point in each half, first half, and then second half and that shit didn't happen either so i lost every single bet and then i went to jail so the point was for those bets to pay for the tickets but i took like three hours on that shit so <laughs> what did you bet on um i put chiefs uh kelsey touchdown and my coffee touchdown they both uh chiefs smack my coffee smack but then kelsey didn't score a touch a fucking touchdown uh, you know, so. i put a parlay it was gonna pay out like it was like plus it was high bro it was a good payout but Fucking Kelsey, bro. Yeah, this Super Bowl was trash. That's why I streaked it. She was boring. Sorry. <laughs> Yo, so thank you, Eric, for fucking me up. Got you, bro. Always appreciate you, bro. Gotcha, Always. Bro. Send it for you. Oh, by, by the way, cold plunge. So I have every single hour out of my day like scheduled out to do pretty much eat, sleep, naps, everything is like in my calendar, except for this. This is the only thing that I am scared of to do. But it feels good. So we'll probably maybe do it later today. I try to do it maybe like three, four times a week. So we just finished the haircut. It's about 1240. So right now is where I should be waking up from a nap. And then I'd either go straight to eat or I'll get back on some calls with my team or like other businesses that I'm involved in for about one to three hours where I pretty much I'd finish at around three o'clock. But for today's video, we're gonna you know make it more personalized because it's just, there's not much going on when I'm just sitting up there in a Zoom call. So I'm gonna take a quick shower. We're gonna go eat, pick which car we're gonna take. I don't know which car we're gonna take. And then we're, we're gonna go see the boat and other little stuff we have for the video. So I'll be back. All right, so what car do we take, bro? We take the Urus, wide body Urus, my Porsche, my GT3 992, manual, or my Lambo, twin turbo. I'll leave it a bunch. What about the Cana? We're wearing white, it's dirty. We, we can take it out tonight, we'll take it out tonight. What do you want to take? The Lambo, because we just got it. The Lambo? Yeah, of course, we got to put miles into it. All right, we'll, we'll come back and then we'll trade it for the Porsche. All right, fuck it. I heard they checking for me, no one checking on me, so I had to go run up a check. So, I don't think you guys understand how fast this shit is. So I 
I didn't even know what the fuck Five Guys was. I, mean, I always eat healthy food, but I have to have my sweet. It's just part of the process. I have to have my little chocolate dip. Here. So, I got a little bowl with some spinach, chicken, broccoli. But I like eating healthy. I never eat healthy. So, buy a Lambo and you don't have to get normal parking. You can just park it right here and you can just. No one's, no one's gonna tell you shit. And then, if you're really ballsy, you don't put the plate on there. So, if they, even if they wanted to give you a ticket, they can't. Oh, and you wanna step it up a next level? You have bags, so it's so low on the ground, they can't even tow it. All right, so look, we just got here right now. I'm gonna change real quick and we're gonna wait for Jordan. Currently 2.20, 2.20. See how long Jordan takes. You wanna go out on the, you wanna go like to the boat real quick? All right, that, not, so, oh. so how, how long will you be at my house? Like not, not like I shouldn't take that long. 2.50. 30 minutes, traffic. 30 minutes later. A lot of traffic, 30 minutes in Miami time. 30 minutes later, I said in the video, if you didn't pull up in 30 minutes, I was leaving, you pulled around fine. So right now we're on our way to the boat. Uh, for you guys that don't know, Jordan is my number one student. So he's, you know, turned out to be a student and now he's part of the family. Even though he's like, doesn't give a shit anymore about me. Nah, he's, he's talking about shit, he's talking shit, he's talking shit. You know, he doesn't care about me anymore, so whatever. He became, I taught him the strategy, became profitable, I said he doesn't give a shit anymore. So. You beat the winning streak and that's it. Yeah, you beat my winning streak and that's it. You're, you're never, you're, you've never been the same. Nah. You've never been the same. But I had a, what was my winning streak? Um, 14. Yeah. So I had a 14 week winning streak and then what, what did you go up to? We got it up to 23. <laughs> the keys in the house so I gotta go back to the house get the fucking keys so we just wasted 35 minute drive for no reason so it's 3 15 we're gonna get traffic back to get the key to then come back again at least we're in the Porsche yeah, at least we're in the Porsche and we can hit a little quick <laughs> do right now is we're just gonna do some donuts because we're in traffic and we're just gonna wait for traffic to go down while we're doing donuts this is how you drift pulling the clutch put it in first you have it to about five thousand the cars will be rolling just a little bit you have it to about five six thousand then we dump the clutch <laughs> of drifting and stuff uh, Jordan has to go I'm probably gonna take a nap right now because it's traffic hour we literally can't do anything right now anywhere you go is gonna take you 45 minutes to an hour so I'll probably get a quick massage in the game room and then just take a nap and around like six seven we'll go back to the boat or we'll go out tonight in the can -Am. so we'll see appreciate you bro for coming so this is my game room um, kind of have a ping pong table I was gonna do a ping pong table and a pool table side by side but then wherever I put the pool table, it kind of has to stay there permanently because you can't move it around because of the weight. And then if I were to put it here, just hitting a side shot, you didn't have a good angle. So sit the ping pong table and massage shit. It shows like 15,000, but it shows fire. Bro, aren't you like a profitable trader? You haven't taken zero trades today. Yeah, but I took one 
what, like three days ago and I made 60,000. I'll oh, show you right now. I took one, look, there you go. Look, I gotta hide this, but 60,000 on the 13th. And then if you look at last week's trades, how much do you think I'm up for the week? 150. Damn. Check it. 130. 130. Close enough. That paid for. That paid for us going to jail while we streaked the Super Bowl. And that paid for the jet, paid for the tickets, and barely pays the light bill here. So, just finished right now a Zoom call with the team. So I woke up from the nap about an hour and a half ago, so it's currently about 8.30. So today I only took a nap for about an hour. So I was on my phone for a little bit, and we just finished the Zoom call. Now time for the gym. All right, so I don't think you guys understand how fast this thing is and how loud. This thing is probably as loud as the ears. Sorry, neighbors. <laughs> I wonder what people think, like when you get out the gym and you see that shit, like who the fuck drives that shit, bro? But now we're ready. So I'm feeling a little sick today, so we're gonna hit the sauna for longer than usual. And then a little workout, probably like chest. And I, what I love about this gym is that it's a private gym and nobody ever comes here. And uh, you know, usually I can either take my time with machines or not. So I haven't been hitting the gym lately. I'm not gonna cap, I can't lie, but I'm getting back in the grind. So. So I do sauna every single day. I'd rather do this in the cold plunge all day. So usually I come in here, it makes me pretty much like relax, clean out my pores. Um, and you know, it's good because you kind of sweat it. You're supposed to hit the sauna when you finish working out. That's why you're burning fat and not muscle. Because if you do sauna or cardio before you work out, you're gonna burn muscle. We're not trying to burn muscle out here, we're trying to burn fat. But yeah, I like doing it because it keeps me accountable. And um, but I like, oh yeah, I like doing it because obviously it's good for you and it's better feeling than the cold plunge, I'll tell you that for sure. And honestly, when you get out of here, you feel amazing. You feel like you just took a shower. Obviously, you have to take a shower when you get out of here, but it feels really good. So after here, we're gonna go back home. I have a trade that we might take a trade, um, but this is really kind of how my days kind of look like. Trade in the morning, meetings, take a nap, go eat. And then just gym, and then more meetings and more trading. It's kind of boring, not gonna lie. The weekends though, the weekends, that's just, if you guys wanna see a weekend in the life, in my life, make sure you guys drop that down below, cause that right there, that my friends is different. <laughs> so I just finished sauna right now, 9.54. So little workout, about a 15, 20 minute workout. So we're gonna go home right now, shower. While we're showering, my assistant is gonna go get us some food. And then after we finish eating, we're gonna go check out the boat because we forgot the key earlier. So we're gonna go see what's up with the speakers and then if anything, just go out in it a little bit. So let's eat, let's eat. So food just got here, a little about 11 o'clock. So usually whenever I eat, I don't watch TV ever. I'll watch like YouTube videos on new cars that I'm gonna get. So we're watching a YouTube video right now on the Cybertruck. All I'm gonna say is I might get one. But after here, I have an interview right now, which I don't know if I'm gonna get on, with Fox News, because they wanna interview me because of the streaking that I did in the Super Bowl. And if we don't do that, then we're just gonna go straight to the vote and then pretty much prepare for trading London tonight. So I'm still trading London, man. So we just finished the interview right now. So it is 11.35 and we're gonna head to the boat. Went out in the year. So I've had a lot of dailies in the past, but there's nothing like this one, bro. Watch that. This is a truck. Pushing like 800, 900 horsepower. So we just pulled it right now to the marina where I have my boat. Keep in mind, it's my first boat. It's not a yacht. It's not even something big like this. I just got something to have fun with and so I can learn the ocean. I'm a really good driver in cars, but I want to get the hang of the water. So I bought a little boat just to have fun with, you know? And the dope part about this place is that I have access 24 seven with security 24 seven, and I can go out in the boat 24 seven, like it's on the water. You guys can see this is the water right here. So don't, <laughs> is this your first time seeing my boat? Don't laugh at my boat. I like it, it's fun, all right? It's my first boat and I'm, I'm learning with it. So this is set and forget. <laughs> it's a wakeboarding boat. So I like it because you can fit like 15, 20 people on it 
with seats comfortable everywhere and you can wakeboard which is dope as shit one of my goals this year is to be able to do a backflip off of me wakeboarding so this is the boat right here people that see me out here in the water in this little ass boat are like look at this motherfucker little do they know little do they know that i can own all these boats right here <laughs> just being very humble just having fun in a little boat what's wrong with that but i get bullied out here in the water because this boat's small and out here in miami the normal is like a hundred foot yacht and they bully you out here they'll like push you around like these guys oh shit. see that yeah, you should have told me yo so that's kiki right there that's the famous kiki on the river Usually I come here and with this boat costs, I spend it in this club <laughs> and I pull up on a yacht and look at us tonight <laughs> on the dinghy. Look at it. That's the famous. I've spent there easily 15, 20,000 in one night like that without an issue. So it's currently 12.30 at night right now. We might catch this Euro USD sale in about the next 30 minutes while we're out here in the water. So this day in the life might get extended a little bit more until tomorrow in the morning because we might catch this trade tonight. Or we might also catch this GBP USD. We might get in pretty much in the next, I'll tell you right now, in the next, in the next 30 to 45 minutes, we'll be able to get into this trade. So, it's the power of trading, baby. You can trade from anywhere in the world. You guys see all that stuff right there? Those are all birds. So the birds that are flying all day, you wonder where they are at night? Where they are right there. Hold on, hold on. You wanna shit on my car? Motherfuckers! Yeah, it's crazy. Look at all of them. That. We have arrived. Tell me, tell me the truth, bro. Where else can you fucking live the life that we live out here, man? I mean, nowhere, bro. Like, from one second, you could be in the Can Am, in the woods, mudding, having fun. Another, you could be in a highway racing with a bunch of Lambos. And then you go like that and you're on the water on a boat. Like, dude, Miami's a spot for us. This is why a lot of people here are successful because from the second you wake up, you have all of this shit to work towards. So I'm 23 and I have it. Look, your yacht doesn't have this. Right here. Cool. Does that look crooked to you, bro? I mean, for almost 2 a.m., it looks straighter than straight. Yeah, we're good. Look at that. And if you notice, the Urus and the Lambo match the boat. That's not a coincidence. So we just got home right now. It's currently 2 in the morning as you guys can see up there so usually pretty much trade should pop up anywhere from now to about four in the morning so i just chill here for a little bit um as of right now i'm looking to sell euro usd which it's giving us a very nice sell opportunity here pretty much the same spot where we sold earlier this week so if we lock in another sell we'll pretty much close the week at like i don't know like 200 250,000 if we can get a trade GBP USD we were going to enter as well. We simply did not enter it. So if we don't get any trades by tonight, I'll update you guys tomorrow in the morning what we do. So I just chill here while I wait for a trade. Honestly, I just scroll through Instagram or watch a YouTube video. It's kind of like my morning. I'm just focusing time on me and chilling with the charts. So let's see what happens tonight. So good morning. Currently right now it is 9:38. the next day you guys can see right here it is friday february 16th and we ended up getting into gbp usd right at 3 in the morning the trade went right into drawdown the moment that i took it you guys can see right here the timestamp 3 in the morning down here it's exactly when i took it at this left head right shoulder the bearish engulfing candlestick breaking the neckline and usually what's supposed to happen is during London session is just supposed to push the whole way. That did not happen. It pretty much came back in, got into a little bit of drawdown, but then now we are up in profit. Currently, right now on this trade, we are up about like twelve thousand dollars. So this is what we're up currently right now. Um, it's nice. I mean, you know, I 
Like if I'm not making 50 to 70K, I don't even want the trade. So this trade can probably give me about 40 to 50. So it's like an okay trade. Uh, so we're gonna pretty much hold it for another two to three hours because it's Friday. So I just caught this quick trade right before the market closed just to get something. And if not, I'll just close like a 20, 30K profit because the market's about to close and I don't wanna hold this trade throughout the weekend. Because I do believe that it can come back and then it can retest the neckline of this left head and shoulders. So I believe that it can strongly retest this head and shoulders patterns right here. So it can create a lower high to then retest the neckline, retest the EMA, to then keep continue heading to the downside. So I don't wanna get caught in that draw throughout the weekend. So I'll update you guys. So now I'm gonna go back to sleep. That's it. <laughs> Done for like an hour, so we'll take an hour nap.